and is to make him understand. That's all I feel. It does not really matter whether you speak in English or in Tamil, provided somebody understands you, it's okay. If I, I was reading the story of Ramayana, so Ram was supposed to be a great avatar and he probably conquered Ravana and throughout the history and ages we have been doing that. Did he plan to become an avatar? No, he did not become plan to become an avatar. It's just his life took such a twist and turn. He was forced to be an avatar. He, his situation was so hostile in his life. It was uh, very, very difficult. For example, he was uh, sent to uh, his guru Vashishta and Vashishta trained him and they said, okay, let's get married him across. The first thing is, you are a very rich man like Mukesh Ambani. So what happened? So they pick the choicest girl with you and then they come and tell you, this is the girl whom you are going to get married, very beautiful, very educated. So you are going to get married, Mahindra and uh, like that. But the point is, the first challenge of his life is, so the Viswamitra takes him and he says, hey, listen here, this is a beautiful chick. But the point is you need to fight it out against all the gladiators who have come here. Now you will have to break the bow to get him, to get her married. Now the point was, Ram was like, but you never told me this. You never trained me for this. You never told that you, I am going to get uh, 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 like that. So also the, the Viswamitra told him, in case you fail, in case you fail in this task, they will look down upon you very badly. Okay, so Ram was feeling very desperate like. So and before him he was like Rava and everybody tried to lift the bow and nothing happened. He came there and he was very desperate in his life. Okay, he wanted to prove a point. Okay, it was not like Rahul Gandhi where his mom was there and everybody told him anyway you will become the accidental prime minister, nothing. He became so desperate, he lifted the bow and he broke it. And then of course the marriage celebration, it was like Mukesh Ambani wedding. It was all very, very beautiful across. So people who are very, very successful in their life, who have a very, very successful career, will take every task which comes in front of them very seriously and will try to overcome it. They don't give excuse like, they don't come and say, it was not like that. Okay. The second thing was everybody told him like, okay, you are going to become the king and he was walking like a king and everything. Suddenly, Kaige he decided to play the politics with him as a person and told him like, listen here, she went to straight to uh, Dasarada's uh, court and she said, you know, Bharata is not very talented. Bharata is not very successful like uh, Ram. But I want him to become the king. So, Dasarada got shock of his life. Damal Nahati Vichichi. He said, listen here. He said, you cannot. You have announced everything. He said, nothing doing. So what if there is a change? You tell there is a change of plan. So, Ram was like called inside the chamber and told that, uh, listen here due to variety of circumstances and very difficult uh, situation. The point is uh, Sonia Gandhi has decided to place Rahul Gandhi on the front Madhi. So uh, we have decided to place Bharata. Since you are very competent, since you are very talented, you have the ability to create your own kingdom. We request you to go to Dandakarunya Kade along with your wife, newly married wife and establish our kingdom over there. So Ram did not, uh, Ram got like uh, very shocked like, but father, he said, no, no, don't talk. Right now I have the coronation ceremony. I think it's better you leave with the wife. Okay. So that is the first blow in the career. You are supposed to be appointed as a GM. Imagine you go to an interview, you apply for the job. They talk about their pay package, everything. At the end of the day, they call you and said, uh, for a variety of reasons, you are like finished. I, we are not interested in you. Many times on the edge, Okay, our career, that is like it's very painful, it's very hurting. Okay, 
Now what happened? As he was walking down, one fellow was there and told him, Hey Ram, I thought you'll become a king now. Suddenly you've become a pauper. He looked at him and he said, See what to do. Lakshmana also felt very bad. He said, Brother, I will come along with you. Okay? And imagine, right at the start of his life, the carrier broke into pieces. Okay? It's not like he had to fight an election, he had to fight an assembly election or anything. Right at the start, they killed his carrier. Okay? And he went to Dandakaranya Kad, he was staying there, he was having a very familiar routine, a natural living, having bath in the river, eating the fruits, and the Kalat, uh, natural living. Okay, wow. Wow. So he ate the fruits and everything and it was like he was living a happy life for one month and suddenly another enemy appeared for no fault of his. He was keeping quiet. Surpanagara appeared in the scene and uh, she was very very attracted to Ram. So she went and proposed to Ram and Ram said uh, diplomatically like Manmohan Singh, listen here, I already have a wife. I don't think so. I can be very involved with you. Affairs doesn't work in the way. No man has raided in two horses. It is only the next avatar we have upgraded like that. Right now you try with Lakshmana. He is only the bachelor boy. He thought he had diverted the problem. Okay. So Surpanaga also decided like okay. Very good. So let me propose to Lakshmana. Lakshmana said see nothing doing. Right now I am not interested. Already we have got hit very badly. Ippadaya engle veeta uttay amchi daanga. Palace uttay amchi daanga. In the Mahi Tondaru, they say the Panna the Mahi, Surpana has said nothing doing. I am very, very interested in you. Just like that Nilambari character, she got very interested in you. So Lakshmana was one day lying down in his kutia and suddenly, anyway, this is just as since there are so many women, Surpana got tried to rape Lakshmana. Okay, so Lakshmana, out of desperation, cut off the nose of the Surpana. In the fight, something he did, he cut off the Surpana. Surpana also started playing politics. She was a very powerful lady. She went straight across to the uh, person in the life and complained to her brother who was a big daddy. Okay? He told her, what happened? See, Lakshmana tried to rape me and he cut off my nose because I was not interested. She flipped the story. So Ravana, as usual, sister, he will believe it. So he called up all his forces. Let's try to teach that bagar a lesson. So somebody came and told Ravana, you know, that time you tried for that uh, lady, you went and picked the bow, the bow you could not pick up. That is the same lady as uh, his wife across and he doesn't have army, he doesn't have any defenses, so let's try to attack him. And somebody told him, see, you are a big king. Now if you try to attack and rape and all, it will be like the media will talk about you very badly. That is <laughs> desperate for other person's wife. So we will play a trick. Also Ram is a very powerful warrior. You try to do something bad, he will try to create uh, unhappiness with us. So they flip his wife and take it out and go. Imagine three disaster continuously happened. First thing he got married, he entered the house. They told him there is no post and position. Second thing he took his wife to Dandakaranya Kadu. Imagine from the palace to a, not even a slum, it is a forest. The third thing is, he was keeping quiet, his enemy appeared before him and he, he created a salasalapu and the last one he lost his wife. So what happened, he calls up Dasarada and sends a WhatsApp message. He says, see I have just now lost a wife, will you help me, will you put your scanners and find it out. Dasarada said, see I, what KG he said was correct, well, politics, no, it's correct, correct situation. It all is correct only, you have lost your kingdom, you have lost your wife, my dear son I think you have a big brand name, but you have failed to perform. It is better you find your wife. Okay? Now imagine a guy who is supposed to be a king, who has lost his wife, and he doesn't know where his wife is gone. Okay? So Dasarada calls up somebody and says, try to find out what, is the, what happened. He said, they call her, where did your wife go? What did you do? Why did you run behind the deer? Why did you, what happened to the deer which you killed? Now Rama was so desperate, he said, see, I don't have any answers. I came, I killed the deer, suddenly everything is disappeared. Now imagine he wants to cross the ocean, he is standing in front of the ocean and he is finding it very, very difficult. Okay? He was finding it very, very difficult. Imagine a big ocean in front of you, they are telling the other side his wife is there. <coughs> And he doesn't have the army. And they are talking about the might of Ravan. They are telling 
it is like Narendra Modi, you are fighting against Narendra Modi itself. Okay? He says, boss, you know, the wind and the air element, the fire elements bow down before him. He has conquered everybody in the world. And he is supposed to be a very ruthless uh, rogue. And he has all magical powers. His son is a very big magician. And nobody has ever won him in, in any war. What are you trying to talk about crossing the ocean? It is not at all possible. And they suddenly look, it is the Indian Ocean. Okay? All the two oceans meet there. And uh, Ram is telling him, Yo, Abba, I never expected it. So all the next people are all telling him, say, Let's go back, bus, get married to another guy, wife, another girl, live happily, it's okay. You put little maska, instead of become the prime minister, become the chief minister, become the minister, some minister at least, let's not try to do, let's try to do some compromise with Kai Gei. So Kaige is sitting and laughing, oh, wife lost, and it is Ravana, ah, super, it is not possible to win the war, Ram is finished, okay, now why am I telling you the story, you will also meet your Kaigeis in your career, you will also meet oceans in your career, you will also meet disappointments like Ram in your career, correct, like the way he rose up to the situation, that is why he became an avatar. Okay. So the point is, the, there are only two things you have to ask yourself. The point is, whether are you planning to have a job? Okay. We will write it later. So okay, God doesn't want me to. Anyway. Okay. So the point is, we will take another situation like this. Thank you. job or a career. We talked about career guidance. We never talked about a job. But if you do a good job, every time a difficulty is given to you, you have an automatic career. Every time you are doing a bad performance like your school, okay, 40 marks, 50 marks, over a area. Now what happens? Your career goes down the path. Okay? Now you think it is better to be born like uh, Rahul Gandhi, at least somebody will promote you across the person. The next thing is important is, now we will take the case of Alexander. Everybody remembers Alexander, isn't it? But Alexander was a 18 year old boy, okay? So he, uh, the uh, Darius who was a mighty Persian empire, okay, sends a thing towards his father. He said, you pay up so much, it has to be double the amount. You have to pay your EMI. You are not paid it properly. So Daria, King Philip says, okay, we will pay off. Does that really matter? Okay, we will collect some tax and pay off. So Alexander says, nothing doing. We will fight against the Darius. Philip said, no, no, what happened to you? Oh yeah, there is something wrong. I will give you money. Go to a vacation. Now don't try to create any difficulty for me. Says, why? Why we can't fight against him? says, listen your boss, I have an army, that man has ten size of my army, what you are talking about fighting with me, huh? what, are you, what you are talking about, you are mad or what, please get out. So he goes to Aristotle and he says, Guruji, I think I want to fight against the mighty Darius, the Persian Empire. So the person comes and says, Aristotle says, yes, my dear son, you can do it. You think I can do it? You can be the conqueror of the world. Yes, you can do it. So he goes to Philip and he says, let's have another discussion. Let's have another meeting. Philip says, right now my stomach is having a problem. You are talking about Darius. It's like, uh, what to say, Tiruma Valavan fighting against uh, Narendra Modi. It is like no match. He has an army mightier than, he, even if you keep his army in front of my house, my house won't be enough. We keep the army, you look like ant and mountain. What are you trying, trying to talk? Please, you want to kill, get yourself killed, you go and get yourself killed. Now don't get me involved yourself in that uh, killing matter. So the point is, now Alexander rose to the situation. The same thing with Babar. Babar also conquered uh, uh, Ibrahim Lodi. No, no, Babar didn't conquer Ibrahim Lodi. Babar, they drew him out of Samarkand. He came to Delhi. Ibrahim Lodi told him, if you don't like it, we will kill you. 
So Babur said, what? I can't go back to my house because they will kill me. I can't be here. They will kill me. So the problem is, you will also face your Darius. You will also face impossible situations in your career. You will also face very, very difficult situations in your career. That is why if you want to have a career, you should take every challenge which comes in front of you and try to be very, very successful. Okay? If you are going to give excuses, if you are going to give what you call it as a tale told by idiot, Shakespeare, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Okay? So the point is we always appreciate heroes, we always appreciate great guys. But imagine everybody that is included, Narendra Modi or Karnanidhi or Rajinikan, impossible situation. They didn't have a background, they didn't have godfather, they didn't have anything, they become very very successful. Okay, so the point is, you have to ask yourself, are you going to go on giving excuses like your school? Okay, school is very beautiful. Even if you don't perform, they will still put food for you. Even if you don't perform, it is okay. Okay, so the point is, because I will tell you the difference, the education career is just around 16 years maximum. You do post-graduation. Okay? 12 plus 4, 16 years. The point is, now you start your career at 22. Assume. Okay? Now, you, you retire at the age of 60, but many people don't retire. They extend. So, which means, another... 38 years you have something in front of you. So the point is your education career you can do mistake. It does not really matter. But the point is your career has 38 years in front of you. Okay. Now of course you can always tell to people what is that? So what if there is no career? I asked one lady. I said, what are you going to do after learning Siddha medicine? So she told me, I'll try for a job. If it does not happen, what will you do? Get married, said that is a better job. Okay. This is the easy way route out. Okay. So the problem is, if a woman is very fearful, get married. At least somebody will take care of you. But the Point is, I, I, I am sure that you people are not like that. You have come with all these uh, particular uh, thing across. Okay? So the point is, career is like running a marathon. Okay? It is not like uh, doing a 100 meters dash. You do 100 meters dash. After that, again they will say another 300 meters you have to run. Again 400 meters. Like that, it goes and goes and goes. By the time you come to 60, you realize... You have a long thing to do across as a person. Okay. So the point is, you understand, career is very, very long. It can have multiple jobs. But the career is very, very long. And that requires a very, very consistent behavior. What are those behaviors? For example, I went and told my father, Dad, I am going to... Uh, what you call it as, I am going to get first mark in my class, hereafter. He told me, okay, okay, fine, you go. He said, no, you are not motivating. He looked at me and he said, what is that to motivate you? Please go, he said. He said, no, you are very, very negative. He said, kure eri kori pidi ka teniyadava vanate kiri vaigunda da kaatana. I got very angry at him. I said, why are you telling all such uh, low, degraded words, demotivating words? He said, you are not studying today. You are didn't study yesterday. You are busily seeing the TV. And all the time, because you are feeling guilty inside, suddenly you are coming and telling, I am going to get a first rank. This itself, you are not able to follow the daily routine. Where are you going to come and uh, become very, very successful in your life across he told me so the point is it really hit me he says oh 
Purana Takiri, empty Vaikunda Talakatan. Vaikunda is like where Narayana exists itself. So, the point is, if you are not doing small things properly, in other words, my dad told me that you cannot do big things very easy. It's all chuma like doing things across as a person. So, the point is, we will talk about a different kind of behavior, okay, of people who have a successful career, okay, and also people who have unsuccessful career. You check yourself with this pattern. Okay, the point is you check again and again this pattern, it will start reflecting throughout your journey in your life. You can be like a road map. Oh, the Gopalakrishna Sonna the correct na the correct It is not lack of opportunity, it has nothing to do with English, it has nothing to do with anything in life. It is just these behaviors keep repeating again and again. Okay, so what are those behaviors?